Hello and welcome to Blades of Thunder. Hello and in this video we're going to be looking at main rotor blades and tail rotor blades and in particular balancing, balancing them and why it is so important that you check the balance of your blade. Okay it doesn't matter what size helicopter you fly balancing your blades is incredibly important it doesn't matter whether they're brand new and still in the packet or they're second hand or older blades, main blades, tail rotor blades, you must check them for balance because if you don't and it's even half a gram difference in weight of the blades can severely vibrate your machine. Okay so in this episode we're going to take you through the tools you're going to require to balance the blades and how to do it. So you're going to need some tape, two different types there, a pen, a pair of scissors, a set of scales that can measure to at least 0.1 of a gram, a scrap bit of rod or a ruler in a, held in a vise and a balancer. Okay. Okay so we are going to balance this brand new set of blades and the first thing we need to do is take them out of the packet hence why we need a pair of scissors Let's open up the packet okay and a lot of you are probably wondering what these pretty stickers that come in the packs are for we'll show you later should we require them so just take them out of the protective sleeves sometimes it's a good idea to keep those and then you can store your blades in them and keep them nice and safe and scratch free but the first thing we need to do is weigh the blades now they should be a matched pair and they should weigh the same so make sure that the scales are zeroed and they are so just pop them on and that is 68.47 grams. So just take a pen and somewhere on the underneath of the blade just write that number down 68.47 grams. It's not going to make any difference to the balance in the blade, a bit of ink off the paint. And then you weigh the second blade and in a perfect world they should be identically and this one is 68.73 so we're a few grams out but it's not too bad I wouldn't worry about that anything over half a gram I would worry about but we are what, 30 grams it's probably 0.3 of a gram it's probably not worth worrying too much about Okay, so now we've got the weights. We know one blade is slightly heavier. The first thing we're going to need to do is find the centre of gravity of the blade. So we're going to statically balance the blades, and that's finding the, the centre of gravity. And the centre of gravity is, is the point on the blade where the lift will, lift will act through. Okay, so it's quite important that it's equal. So there's two ways to do this. Um, I like to do it on a bit of brass rod and you just put the blade on and you push it slowly until it balances. And it'll be roughly around the middle of the blade somewhere. Take your time, don't rush. You'll find the centre. It's the point where it seesaws, so it's there. And just take your pen and just mark it. 
on there and then do the same with the other blade Again. okay and another way to do it is if you've got a vise put a ruler in a vise and pop it on and it should balance in the same place there we go but if you do use this method you need to make sure there's no drafts around because draft can sort of help make it a bit more difficult but yeah it's balancing in the same place roughly really I find this method really tricky You get the idea. Okay, and if you if you bring your blades together, um, what you should see, if I turn them round and we zoom in, what you will see is the marks. If we if the, they've made them well, the marks should line up, which they do. Okay, so our blades are pretty spot on. But if you've got cheaper blades, you might find that there is quite a difference in weight, which would mean that the center of gravity aren't going to line up. Okay, so what you need to do is take the heavier blade, and then you start adding, you work out the difference in weight, and then you add that weight to the left or right of the center of gravity of the heavier blade so that you bring the center of gravity equal okay so you can move just just weigh a little bit of tape on your scales and then move it along the blade until they balance at the same point okay okay now that we've got our blades statically balanced we're going to dynamically balance and for that we need the balancer okay now um, the, these are relatively cheap, you can buy them from most helicopter suppliers, model helicopter suppliers. Okay, and this one's a, a reasonably good one. Um, in the center is a spirit bubble, okay, and then it has holes for different size fret, different size bolts for different size blades, and on the ends are two balance weights which you can move in and out. To make sure that before you start balancing your balancer is level and if you look at mine there's a little dot in the middle and the bubble is in perfect center okay so now we're going to fit the blades to the balancer and um, the balancer comes with its own bolts and some which are okay we're going to use the balancer's bolts but you could use the bolts and the nut that's going to fit to the fit the blade to the head won't, probably won't make any difference okay so blades spin counterclockwise or clockwise whichever way the blades spin on your helicopter fit them to the balancer in that direction so these are um, a lineup are counterclockwise so we're going to fit them with the leading edge facing towards me on this one so they would be set up for counterclockwise spinning. So we we'll just fit that to the thing. Do them up relatively tight so that they can't move on the balancer and make sure that they're straight. Okay, so we're gonna fit this blade like that. You don't want to fit it like that, okay? 
Now for you guys coming over from fixed wing to helicopters, balancing main rotor blades and tail rotor blades is just as important as balancing your prop blades on your planes. Okay, because if they're out, it will induce a massive vibration to your helicopter. Okay, so once once the blades are fitted, just let go and they'll find their own centre. Just a little bit of a draft in here, so they're taking their time to settle. That's it. So this blade is probably the heavier blade, and that one would be the lighter blade. Do you remember these? This is what they're for. So just attach them to the blade lightly, like that. Wait for it to balance. There it goes. I'm gonna let it settle. And there it is, it's settled perfectly in the centre. Don't look at your blades, look at the bubble. The bubble's going to tell you whether it's centered or not. So, And that is perfect. If you um, want to zoom in and have a look at that, you can see. Okay, so we've got this pair of blades balanced and um, obviously this is for a two blade main rotor head but um, as we're mainly into scale a lot of our helicopters have multi blade heads and it is even more important then that your blades are balanced really well. Okay, so for a three blade or five blade head you need to um, take one blade as your master blade and then you balance the other blades to that okay so it's normally the heaviest blade okay you can buy them as matched sets but if you can't afford those matched sets then you can use these sort of blades you just need to balance them because they come as matched pairs and you need you'll need to buy maybe two or three packets to make up a set of blades okay but you must balance them okay because they you will have dreadful vibration issues if you don't okay so this one's balanced so we'll take it off of the off of the balancer stop that blade okay now with this tag you notice that i stuck it on the top to the leading edge so all we do now is just fold it over and when this is flying the airflow will just run straight over the top. It can't get underneath and peel off your balance sticker. Okay, so you must never stick them to the back of the blade, always to the leading edge, and always make sure that you start on the top, a little bit on the top surface, and then flip it underneath. Okay, so that's our blades balanced. It is exactly the same method to balance tail rotor blades and tail rotor blades are probably even more important that you get them perfectly balanced because if you get a vibration on your tail rotor it's going to shake your model to pieces okay and we don't want that so make sure you balance your tail rotor blades as well as your main rotor blades
Yeah. And these blades are now ready to fit to a model. Hope you've liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe and uh, to follow us uh, on more videos in the future. Any questions uh, you want us to answer, just put them in the comments box below.